Hey everyone, thought I would take a minute and throw this video together for you because um, I want to show you who the real biblical antichrist is and that way you aren't deceived. Um, because the antichrist is not a baby, uh, they are very much on earth and in a grown adult. Uh, they're not coming in 300 years. They're here now. And they're about to take their role as the Antichrist. So it's important that we cover this. I have touched base on this in another video, uh, but the Antichrist wasn't the highlight of the video. In this one, he is. So, let's get started. Revelation 13.1 says, and I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon the heads the name of blasphemy. In Revelation 17, we get a description of this beast. And we learn that the seven heads represent seven kings. And here's the breakdown of that. Revelation 17, 10, and 11. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen, and one is. And the other is not yet come. When he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. Well, those are the facts. That is the breakdown. So let's go and break it down even further. This is the biblical Antichrist breakdown. Now, it's important to understand that when John had this vision, it was Trump's presidency. So while John's having his vision, in the vision he's seeing Trump's presidency and the surrounding details. Okay? So, that's why Trump is and Biden is yet to come. Because when John had that vision, this is the section or the moment of time that he was in. Trump's presidency. Okay, that's really important to understand. Okay, so seven kings have fallen. I mean, sorry, seven kings, five have fallen Reagan Bush, Clinton Bush, Obama. One is the current Trump. Because, as I said, John saw Trump's presidency. And one is not yet to come. And when he comes, he continues only a short space. Well, we know that that's Biden. I think we can all agree he's not going to be there very long. The eighth is the Antichrist, which is of the seven, but will be the eighth and go into perdition. So it says right here, of the seven. So out of the seven I've just named, one of them is guaranteed 100%, no questions asked, the Antichrist. So here we have the artist's rendering of the first beast of Revelation 13, and the seven kings that we'll be talking about are going to represent seven presidents. Okay, so out of the seven kings, five of them have fallen. There are the five that have fallen. Okay, one of them is current, which is Trump. And the other has not yet come, which is Biden. And when he comes, he can only continue a short space. Because the eighth needs to come into play. Okay? So, Obama is definitely the Antichrist. And I'm sure there's plenty of out there going, well... How do you know it's not Trump? Because I know there's plenty of Trump haters out there. The Bible tells us that the Antichrist is gay. 
right here let me show you the biblical antichrist is gay speaking of the antichrist in daniel eleven seventeen, it says this he shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom and upright ones with him thus shall he do and he shall give him the daughter of woman corrupting her but she shall not stand on his side neither be for him speaking of the antichrist daniel eleven thirty seven says this neither shall he regard the god of his fathers nor the desire of women nor regard any god for he shall magnify himself above all so the bible clearly tells us in many places that the antichrist is gay and we obviously know that obama is gay check this out see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president we have it with obama so let's just calm down got it you know michelle is a trend i'm sorry she's a what Transgender. We all know. Oh my gosh. Deborah. Michael and I. <coughs> Michael and I. Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son Jack, who's deployed today. Ding, 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 ding. So, yeah, it's definitely Obama. Um, I know that means that time is very short and that this information is going to be hard to hear if you've never heard it before. Um, but if you've never heard it before don't lose hope you know that's why we have Jesus you know this is all part of the plan it's written you know this must come to pass so we need not be afraid um, you know but not having this information will leave you in the dark and not knowing what's going on uh, you know because there's going to be certain things happening coming down the pike soon here and you know a lot of people aren't going to understand what's happening but God's people will you know uh, so we have to be uh, well informed you know God's people perish for lack of knowledge so we can't be afraid of the truth no matter how hard it is to hear you know Pretending that this isn't happening is not going to make it go away. It's not going to stop it from coming. So keep your prayers up. All glory to God and God bless all.